Hello, and welcome back to the Call of Duty Championship. Senor Bioacid. Senor? Senor. Is that, is that not, was that good or was that not good? Master sounds better. Master? Yeah. Master Bio. Sorry, Master Bio. That's better. <laughs> king Bio. Is that good? King, oh, I don't mind the king, you know. I, I usually just go with Master, though. <laughs> master. Or Sexy Bio. You see, in the UK, if you were to say Master, that implies that they're a young child. Really? Yeah. Well, that's in the UK. We're in America. That doesn't help either of the... That that doesn't help the argument. There's no kings in America. I win. Bye. Anyway, moving swiftly on before we get too out of hand. TK, Rain Mix. TK, 2-0 to zero in the lead. They've been playing some fantastic Call of Duty player to watch so far. Theory. He's just been having Definitely. a solid series. Almost dropped a 50 bomb. Yes. You heard that correctly. 50... And by almost 49. Choked. It was sad to see. It would have been good to see. First game of the day, hit a 50 bomb overall, you know, two after domination, but sadly, couldn't do it. And as Benson said, choked a little bit there, I guess. But, you know, it's still 49 to, to 13. That was a massive KD for a first game. Oh, huge, huge. S and D, a little bit closer, though. I think I think TK went in there maybe a little bit overconfident after what happened. Oh, definitely. Game. Definitely. You really saw Rain bring that back after a few rounds. You know, they struggled at the start, but once they sort of got a feel for it, that's what it comes down to in S&D as well. You know, like, it's all about getting a feel for the other team and how they're going to play that S&D out. Right. Because so many different things can happen in each round of that S&D. And you saw there, like, TK, they went to A, both their attack rounds first. Second time around, didn't work in their favor, so then they changed it for B, and they started to work a little bit. But, you know, there was only about, like, three plants in total of the whole game, and that was with TK. Yeah. So out of ten rounds, so you know, three plants really it does it think think about that for a little while and you know, just remember that later on when you see TK play, you know, it's not all about playing the bomb as well, it's all about getting the kills when it comes to S and D. It's only four players to kill. As these guys get set up for game number three in this best out of five series, it's gonna be a blitz of course. Freight. Oh, I love blitz freight. It's so small, so the sneaky part's a bit harder, you know, you only have across the open area or underground through blue room. That's the only little areas you have. We do have a few maps we're going to bring up in the overlay as well for you all. So just be able to get like a bird's eye view of the map as well, you know, in the background. That way you guys can see what's going to actually where it take place in a lot of that. You know, the freight points obviously inside of Owens, inside of Brewery or Brown, as some like to call it. You know, it just depends on who you are. What do you call it? Brewery? Yeah. Some people call it Brown. I hear Brown so many times by NA players. It's, it's, it's just it's interesting. <laughs> uh, you're honest. You would call it Brewery. Yeah, why not? Right? We're drinkers. You guys and, and the... You guys in the and the beer and whatnot. You, uh, I've seen the commercials. I know what happens. Yeah, you, Fosters, you, bro. No, forex. Well, I'm a, I'm a Queenslander. I'm a Queenslander. Those so forex is my bread and butter. You're you're a terrible person. Anyway, we'll dive straight into the action now. It's Blitz Freight. Ten seconds left on the countdown. I'm just flying around the camera. Wee -hee -hee. <laughs> I'm pro. I know. I know. <laughs> who do you want to Who do you want to kick things off with? Wait, you know, obviously, one on team? yeah, one was. Uh, well, one is. Wait, we're missing one player from TK. It would seem. He has not connected in or something, not too sure what's going on there. So hopefully he's on his way in though and these guys will be okay to go. So the first thing you usually see from anyone though is the fact that they will close up doors and then push across the map. So you just got to keep that in mind. And these shots are going out. First kills of the game will go in favor of TK. As they pick up a nice little three down now. One player less was Iceman. He came out because you can see the doors are open. But first point was in favor of TK quickly. But at the same time, you know, Iceman got on in. And now it's 1-1. One, one. Hey! Welcome to the game, Goonja. Nice of you to join Better us. Better late than never. Meanwhile, TK have actually gone 2-1 in the lead, 3 versus 4. So that just shows you how good of a team TK really are as formal. He's going to get one kill there on Reese. Can he look for a second player? Theory was about to try and, in fact, defend his base. Nicely done. Team squad 3-1 to one already within a minute of game time. We've already seen four caps. So this TK team are here to prove a point. Nice little shots coming out there indeed. Obviously right now, that scoreline is 3-1. We are sort of thinking TK's favour right now. Gunja here at the front of Owens, between Owens and Fire. Can't see no players there. We'll go across, of course, and close that door back on up. Inside of White, a few players up and around. And then Chris, they lead down at all plus three. So a nice start here. You know, some score streaks we're seeing getting made. Gunja on a four score streak. Is the last one left? Well, a three down is happening against them. And they all push down and across right now. It would seem the Benson's driving on the wrong side of the road. You saw the camera just happening up and around hey, there. But I was just, I was checking Look the at pace. that Goonja at ammo. Yeah, Goonja, he's been pre-firing absolutely everything. Just like that, though. Curse of the late, cast to get taken down. He's for the game as well, so. Yeah. <laughs> Should dock him some ammo for that, but. He started off, what, 4-1 with two caps. 
Fomal is five and two with a cap. Theory is three and three with two caps. Shaw three and three as well. So the whole TK lineup really put up a solid performance. But someone has stuck through the net and is going to pick up that cap from Rain. I think that was actually Fizz. I, oh, sorry. Who was that actually? It was Iceman. So he's got two caps to his name. But it is going to be traded off as you go into the last three minutes of the first side of Blitz Freight. Six to two in favor of TK. And Gunja is stepping up now, showing off his slaying ability. You know, great shots coming out from all these players right now, but it does seem the rain guys are struggling a little bit here. Now, just remember, it's it's 10 second cooldown time after each capture, so you need 10.1 to get two in. Right. So, you know, these captures can take place very quickly in that regards if you get a good map control, good little setup as well. That's where you start to look to your comeback right now. And Gunja, he didn't have to go for those kill, that, that first kill. The second one, he kind of did, but the first one, not so much. That's what we're talking about, the sneakiness. You know, if you come in behind these players, you don't have to go for the kill. And a lot of the times, you will see that the player will think about shooting them, stop, realize, oh, hang on, let's just go for this cap instead, and they'll go on in. Let's see if Theories does that right now. Players around him, though, from behind. He gets taken down by Iceman. The scoreline, 9-4 right now, Benson. So a five-point game, TK in that lead. Full control as Gunjar actually got taken down by the most random grenade I think I've ever seen in my entire life. He's not going to be happy about that because he was on a seven point streak. He was having some, some good fun, but nine to five, two minutes still remaining in the first side. So plenty of time for now. Gunno. I mean, how do you how do you stop this man? I mean, if, you, if you're part of Rain, by what have you got to do to stop Gunjar? I think right now the Rain team has to look at map control and you know, you don't sort of see that that much, I guess, for a, a blitz match. You know, it's more about. Again, like we said, you know, a few players in that mid and just being sneaky in general, but Rain guys are struggling to get across this map. They're getting picked up left, right, and center. It's a five-point gain, and you know, they're, they're trying to figure out what they can do to shut down TK, and it's, at the moment, it's really not much. They've just got to get their shots connecting more and better, because right now, TK are just doing a lot better each shot they're coming out. Busy. Vi, sorry, doing all right just then. Nice little two-piece. He's picked up by Formal, though. So a minute ten left here on the clock here in the first half. It's 11-6 to six right now. And TK have kept the lead pretty much all game long. Yeah, they, they've done very, very well. Iceman, though, got to give him some props. Four caps, so desperately trying to keep Rain in it, although pretty much everyone goes down. While one, it was Reese. He's going to get shot as well. So Formal, he's in a position to try and make some aggressive plays in the enemy base. Is he going to be able to do so? That's the question. He snuck all the way around, looking for some players off spawn, and he's going to find them as well. He should be able to pick up at least one kill here. There's the first, second is going to be behind him. He's kind of just in no man's land at this point. Does get taken <laughs> down. But TK, to their credit, they were able to pick up another cap. 12 to 6. I mean, this is a um, pretty high scoring game. It is. You know, when you see a blitz game and you, and you see it be very, very close, usually you'll only see maybe, you know, three or four captures go in in total. Right. But because Freight's such a small map, it's just, it, you do see more captures in that regards because, you know, players can just get past and run across so quickly because there's not that much they have to travel wise distance and just like that you're going to see 13 to 7 there's only a capture allowed to go in right now you know both teams can still get one more I think Guja will have to get on this point if he wants to capture it before it time runs out Sharp's going to try <laughs> and then he goes nice little hop skip that jump 14 to 7 so a 7 point game right now for TK heading into the second half now don't get me wrong I have seen games that have comebacks bigger than this actually I've seen a, a comeback of uh, I believe I think the highest I've seen was 10 so don't count Rain out just yet. Okay. But the big thing is they need to outslay TK. If and they don't outslay TK, simply not going to win. As we saw, like Iceman, he's on 4 and 9 KD, but he's got five captures, and that's right. what's kept these guys alive. So like we have said, KD is not going to matter when it comes down to that blitz side of things. you know. Like, and, But Benson is right. Slaying is something that Rain has to now try and do because just capturing alone is not working for them. Simple fact is TK are also getting through and slaying plus capping, which is keeping them that lead down already in the first 20 seconds of the half that's just going to be cap cap city there's more caps going to fly in for tk now can Gunja try and set up a bit of a small chart i'm curious to see who is going to go back lumber it may actually be theory although he isn't going to be the, the ideal player you want more of a formal or a Gunja to be sort of back on that left hand side just to his current position players spawning in there i'm gonna turn oracle on so you can see picks up another killer he's just happy to sit here and just let the relays fly in Meanwhile, defensive plays needs to come in from Formal. He's going to pick that one up. Made that look relatively simple. As, oh, actually, there was one more player over there. Oh, he goes down anyway. Goon, is he going to defend it? I think he... No, he didn't manage to. So that was unfortunate. But you still have Theory back here in London. Just, just kind of chilling. Yeah, yeah, he's just chilling, obviously, in the spawn where Rain will be coming in from. They do spawn on the opposite side behind Red right now. You see him thanks to that Oracle mode. But he's just more looking for kills. He's letting his team go in there and get captures while he just picks up a few kills and... 
three down, looking for that four down. Goonjar, nice little two piece there on Vibes and Reese. Uh, it's going to help them out as he comes on in through. 20 to 10. So they had a seven point lead coming into the second half, now a 10 point lead. So, you know, these guys are feeling fairly confident right now to finish up that score in a 3 0 series way. But it's not there yet. You know, still time for Rain to bring this back. It's just going to be a bit difficult because everything that Rain is putting up, TK oh, is just answering with Goonja. God. Eight point street right now. And look at also Sharp. He's on an 8-1 as well. So these guys are both just going off here in the second half. Yeah, they really are playing well. And it's worth mentioning the reason that score got a, a little bit increased was everyone from Rain actually overextended. And then they just got into that position where they were both trading caps. When you're behind, you can't do that. You can't trade caps because it's just not beneficial. You're essentially just wasting time. You need to play a good base defense before you can even start to think about trying to make a comeback in Blitz. And right now, it's just TK all day, baby. Sharp, 13 point streak, 18 and 9, 10 caps. Cursed him again. My bad, Sharp. Love you, long time, bro. Two and a half minutes still to go, though. And I mean, this scoreline, I'm expecting it to go over 30 at least. You know, you are pretty right. You know, five captures is all they need to hit the 30 mark. Two and a half minutes, plenty of time to do that. All you really need is that 40.1 seconds to be able to get five captures. So, you know, very doable. As we'll see now, of course, it is going to be Gunja on your screens, hunting and trying like a lion after the gazelle, hunting its prey, looking for these kills. Off the respawn, the players are coming on out, and he's picking them up. And, you know, that's the biggest, like, it's the hardest thing to come back from if you're just getting picked up off spawn right. every single time. You just find hard to get any momentum, really, based on your team in that regards. And that's what Goonja's trying to do here. You'll see players coming off. Take City right there, but could not pick up the kill. As he sees one to the right, try and finish him off. Gets out of there, and will recuperate to fight again another day. More and more plays. Just gonna brush Gunjar though, and Gunjar with the gun skill that he has, he's just gonna pick them up all day, every day. Such a sensational player to watch. Fantastic accuracy, not helped him out too much there though. 25 and 10. Peeks around the corner, finally gets taken out. He was there for a very long time, it's worth mentioning. As now TK just three caps away from the 30 bomb. Are they gonna be able to do it? Looking at formal, he's gonna pop down. 28, so two caps before just an all-around sensational first series of the Call of Duty Championship for, for TK. And just like you said, you know, they want to hit that 30 bomb. They were at, they were at like five caps away at two and a half minutes, I believe it was. So their capture-wise has slowed down, but their slaying is still right up there. They've all hit over 20 kills, while well, the opposition team of Rain is sort of struggling right now. You know, the highest kill they got is 16 kills, and their deaths. And Iceman, he started off with five captures here in the second half. He's only done it once now. Right. So, you know, the rest of the team have picked up a little bit there, but capture-wise, it was that the opposition team, TK, have picked up 16 or 17 captures, I should say now, here in the second half alone, while the Rain guys have only gotten six. I mean, the, the reason Iceman's caps have slowed down in the second side is simply because TK's slaying has just got incredible. I mean, what, you got... Exactly. Goonjar, 31 kills. You got Sharp, 22. Theory, 25. Formal, 21. It's just Outslay City right now. I mean, they, they are just really putting them on the back foot. And, you know, to their credit, they've made it look so simple. Oh, they have indeed. You know, these guys are going to be happy with the first series of the day, taking out at 3-0. It's a good way to start out this competition for them indeed, and the mindset that will help them along for the next today and, of course, the double limb starting tomorrow. So now these guys are going to be thinking, okay, guys, that's game number one in our belt. We're not there yet, so a long road to go for both these teams. And just remember, this is only pool play at the moment, but these games are still having Iceman just left. You know, I understand why, but at the same time, you know, come on. Finish the game right out because you're playing at this level. Right. I, I agree. Sharp playing for uh, some stats there. I think he's waiting for the uh, quad comp stats to come out at the end of the group stages. <laughs> he's, he's like, oh, I need to finish with the most blitz caps in the tournament. So he just continuously puts some pressure down. 13 caps overall. Sensational performance from him. Theory, though, for me, 27 and 13 in that game as well. He has just done what a captain it needs to do. Just set the tone straight from the start of the oh. event. Say, hey, guys, we're here to play. This is the World Championship. This is what we've been playing for all year. Let's start how we mean to continue with a TK3 out. Just sensational stuff from them. For those that don't know what Benson's referring to with Theory, you know, he started off massive. The first half of domination, 24 and 6. Pretty big. Total finishing up. With 49 and 13 in domination for 10 minutes. You know, one kill off the 50 bomb. Really massive to see. And then, of course, they they took out 6-4 on S&D. And there's picking up the victory there on that blitz as well. You know, their mindset now, heading through this competition, is going to be great. Right. Of course, there are some bigger name teams and tougher teams they're still going to go up against. But pool play is what's happening all day today. And, you know, you can catch it all live on MLG.TV. But, Ben, you know, like, do, do you think Rain can sort of, you know, shake that? 
Okay, that's, that's game done. <laughs> Let's just focus on the mean, next one. You look at that group, that's definitely the, the, the most difficult game they're going to have to play, right? Oh, TK. exactly. To get that out of the way first is always hit and miss. It's either going to be like they go into it thinking, all right, we don't really stand much of a chance of winning. Let's use it as a warm-up. Let's just use it as a warm-up. Or they go into it thinking, all right, well, we just got destroyed now, and then morale goes down. They're looking at the next couple of games, which are must-win now for them. It could go downhill. It could go either way. So it's going to be an interesting group to, to keep track of, I think. You know, of course, there are 32 teams in total that, were, that, that competed for this whole event here at the qualifiers here in LA. Nice thing, Los Angeles. The City of Angels, is it called? Is that, or is that somewhere else? That, like San Diego of Anchorman. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. But we are, of course, here at the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox, ladies and gentlemen, for 2014. This is the second year in a row it's been run for Call of Duty Champs. Of course, Cod XP back in 2011. So the third time now teams from around the globe have been playing for a share in a million dollars, and, you know, they, they want to get the title again. I think Karma, most of all, he wants back-to-back -back wins. Yeah, he can be a back-to-back -back champion. What's not to love about that? I mean, Maybe try for the trifecta next year, perhaps. Who knows? Maybe. But, guys, we'll be back with even more games on the Charlie stream after a quick commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.